Good morning, everybody. Well, it is about three something in the morning. I've been up since two. I went to bed really early and I heard all this rain coming down. And I wanted to go up here. The guys left all the windows open on the house. Let's run upstairs here real quick. Water coming in this opening on this side. See if I can get something here over that. Might lean a solar panel up out there. Yeah, well, we don't have this closed up yet. The water is pouring off up there and splatting coming inside. <laughs> I just leaned up a solar panel there to deflect the water. Some of you wanted to know if I had drains in the roof, scrubbers in the roof. They didn't see anything. Where's the water go? Well, I want to show you here where the water goes. Water goes right here. See that? It's pouring in there right now. Look at that. That'll fill that tank fast down below. This is only one of many. Let's go over here. We'll look at another one. Look at all that water pouring into that cistern down below. Of course, we don't have all this perfectly sealed and finished out yet. But they're doing their job nonetheless. There's another one doing its job. And this one didn't get unblocked. And I'm going to unblock it right now. And this is my drain pipe off this little roof here. Let's walk out here and see how the drains are doing in the yard. Yep, water is steadily pouring in. That is exactly what I wanted right there. Let's go check the other one out. And this is where I talked about having a problem with water building up in this corner before and it is steadily draining too all that you see right there is water pouring in of course we got some fresh soil here so a little bit of dirt's dropping in too but it just goes out right here on the other side of this wall yeah it's flowing pretty good out there at that pipe i can see it there very very nice so all of that is doing its job also see the screens caught a little bit of debris already. Not much worried about a little bit of debris clogging this pot because um, it's a four inch pop underneath and it only goes just maybe um, 12 feet here to the other side and it's wide open where there's no obstruction and we can clear it real easy too if we need it to. Well, this is the first rain that we've had since we've been here and uh, we got here at the beginning of January and here we are over oh, going to the middle of March so uh, I'm pretty happy to see it especially with dry season coming on and to restore all the water back in that cistern I tell you I wish I had a cistern two three four times bigger than that and I might someday after this house is done I'd already plumb the pipes to where we have another place picked out that we can build another huge cistern under the ground. Because the one thing that's becoming more and more of a viable resource on this planet is fresh water. And if you can catch when it rains like this, there is massive amounts that come down. But you gotta store it. And of course we don't have no place for a big old pond or a lake like you know huge acreage properties and all do. But we can build underground cisterns and still be able to use our property up above it you know dig it back cast it in backfill over it if you want to and you still want a lawn there and you can be standing on a huge water reserve that when you live right by the ocean 
near salty water and you don't have the luxury of drilling a deep well because you will hit salt water not fresh water you can only get fresh water in a shallow table um, that's a pretty viable resource it absolutely is and especially in a, a tropical place like this and a developing nation we actually don't have a city municipality water system here in our subdivision anyway and honestly I don't want it so uh, I, I like to be self-reliant and have our own means so there you have it appreciate you uh, getting up early with me and watching this right now as I go inspect everything and open up some stuff and close up some windows and yeah pretty cool pretty cool the plan is all working day it's a definitely cloudy day and so I found work for everyone to do pretty much inside uh, my mocks up doing a little bit of form work up right now while the rain has stopped but I put ambin in here and I said you know what we can just do uh, stone work in here and knock this stuff out inside now it's been a little bit of a uh, getting started with them I'm trying to put too much adhesive when they butter the back of these, squirting it out everywhere, getting it all over it. And you can't do that on these, especially this really poor stuff. You'll have them all stained with the, with the mortar. But it's getting there, and it's getting better. It's improving minute by minute. I think they got it down now. I think they got it figured out. <laughs> yeah you're gonna help pick out which one goes next you're gonna be the decorator now it, this was your idea for this stone so i guess you're gonna be the the mama of it huh <laughs> yeah you must be happy to see this come up here huh yeah because i've been seeing you smiling and looking the whole time let me see that gleam again Woo! I see that chrome. I thought it was the handrails there for a second. <laughs> yeah, good morning everybody. Well, I've been up since 2 a.m. and it's 10 a.m. right now. Man, I've already, I've already had a day. Woo! Uh, storms come in. The niece wasn't feeling good. She's flipping and flopping and getting up and down and woke us up in the house. She's waking Mel up, you know, bless their heart. They don't feel good, they don't feel good. And then outside we could hear the tarps they had on top of the roof whipping and banging around in the wind with the storm come. <laughs> and then I, I thought, oh, rain, it's raining. I wanna go outside and check the drains on the rooftop. And I knew we had socks in them, get the debris out. Sure enough, they were blocked. Boy, I pulled those sacks, and it was sound like when you flush the toilet. <laughs> Man, the water just went to shooting down. 
And then I'm like, oh, I want to go check the cistern real quick. And I run down there and I, I don't have one of the heavy lids on right now. Just a piece of plywood over it. Raised it up. Man, that water had done rows up quick in there. And it only locked about a foot. And it was just a matter of two minutes and that extra foot was in there because there was so much rain coming down. Then I went to check the fish pond. And that was all good. And uh, then I went to check the drains in the yard. And that was all good. So uh, I was just like a kid, I was so excited because I hadn't got to see any of that stuff function. Um, we were gone after we put all this up and went back to Texas and it has never rained, not one time since we've been here. So uh, it was my first chance to see it all happening and I was pretty darn excited for it. Absolutely excited for it. And as well, I wanted to go through and walk through and do an inspection of any place that I might see that moisture could possibly be leaking through on a wall or anything like that and looking looking for all of that as well so uh, that is how my morning has been meanwhile i've had joel up here continuing to put that little small beam form in on the side here and he's got down just a small area left down in there uh, getting that in and then we'll have to put the middle braces in after he finishes that and this will be ready to cast we may cast it this afternoon up on top my mock is still continuing to get the other canopy ready and caps here walking around you see him here in the neighborhood right now roaming around And let's see what else has happened. Down here in one of these guest rooms, preparing to pour this concrete countertop. And so he's been drilling, he's been setting steel, and this hole here is where the sink needs to pass through. Um, Give you a little for instance here. Because these rooms have like a little kitchenette with them. So as you can see there, it'll have the the sink and all as well. And so we're gonna cast this in concrete and then we're gonna laminate it with a black granite looking or marble looking tile, but not actual real granite. Um just no need to spend that much money on a little piece of granite, especially it's got a big old hole cut out in it. Yes, it'll save me a lot of money to uh, just laminate it with a uh, really pretty classy tile. Probably wouldn't even take me one, two, three, maybe four pieces. Huge price difference on that. And the look's gonna be almost identical. So that's what's happening there on that. Ready to talk, baby, and be your rock, baby. Please come and sit with me or take a walk with me. I need to speak to you, just want to be with you. Just let me take you for a ride. Is there a chance that we could make another try? I think we're meant to be, didn't want to say goodbye. If there's a chance, just tell me how. Because time is precious, time is now.